person there looking on my Google Translate? This little old lady. Ella's another one. I've got a stammer. I've got a, I've got a stutter. It's a slight one, uh, but I notice it and I don't like it. So the first time I noticed it, I was, I was working in a supermarket, Tesco's. I was a trolley pusher and a lady collapsed on the floor. But she had a uh, medical tag and I phoned this number and uh, the, the words just wouldn't come out. Anything that starts with a W and anything that starts with an M. And I'm asking her for help. And that May Day, it wouldn't come out. It wouldn't come out. And uh, that was quite embarrassing. But before any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Vous avez faim? D'accord. À table. Good morning. From Departement says La Chocante, the northernmost tip of the southwest of France. It's it's cold and dreary today. Tuesday, I would normally go out on the bike with my mate Darren, one half of the Sons of Agony, but it's just not nice. I've just literally literally come back from, from dropping the, the kids off at school. And I popped into the, to the local doctor's surgery to get myself a médecin famille. And they've got no spaces. So she's given me uh, the option of going to... What's going on? To three different other doctor's surgeries. About half an hour to an hour away. So this channel is slowly growing. So uh, I must get a couple of subscribers every, every time a video goes out. Um, not everybody goes back. To have a look. Some people might be confused over the sunglasses thing. So that came about by accident. What I'll do in a second is I'll uh, I'll put the video on or part of the video on when it was born. But in essence, down there was a massive bramble bush, uh, or as I call them, oh, I, I can't tell you. But it's something like rise with hunt weeds. Anyway. Um, my brother came over and we tackled the big bush <laughs> and uh, I'd already I'd already you received feedback over, over my lack of health and safety from you guys so I decided to go and get my brother a pair of safety goggles and as I was handing them to him I thought right this is going to be a slow-mo I don't know why the camera keeps doing that this is going to be a slow-mo and uh when I went to, to do the edit, the first bit of music that I tried, I went, that's it, that's the one, that's the one. And then I got jealous. I thought, I'm going to do the slow-mo thing. I'm going to incorporate that. Not intending to do it every time that I put the, uh, every time I, I got in the car. But then every time that I didn't, some of you guys said, what's happened to the slow-mo thing? So it happens at least once in every set of videos. And then you guys start to send it in your sunglasses too. And that turned into a bit of a compilation. <laughs> so if you guys want to record your own sunglasses thing, send it in to me by, e by email, robmorland09 at googlemail.com so put them on normal speed don't slow down i'll do that i'll do it for you you're welcome uh, and then i'll i'll sort the rest out um if you're going to do it on phone do it landscape not portrait very picky aren't i anyway so let's show, show you part of that video i'm expecting comments about the lack of health and safety i am and you know what? it's warranted <sighs> right you've heard of rp Reflective practice. I've just reflected on what I've said. I'm gonna go back and get some goggles. So that explains that then. You why would you do the sunglasses thing? Anyway. What I'm going to do, that video that I did the other day, where post-Brexit, 4 minutes, 38 minutes long, 
I'm going to edit that again and put it put it back out again. I'm going to try it with a different thumbnail, different title, um, and also I'm going to add an explanation as to the sunglasses thing around it. A great suggestion from Cindy. Um, so I'm going to do that. So if you see that again on your screens, you know why. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. cold today but it's, it's lovely and bright anyway do you remember me talking to you about uh, about my garage door well that garage door is uh, 44 years old it was built in 1980 and it's coming apart and it looks awful so Darren from Confalon the other half of Sons of Agony has been making me a garage door yeah so we went a few weeks ago to Chausson in champagne mouton and uh, I bought the timber and, uh, and he's been Beavering away um, for the past couple of days, making it, and he's going to deliver it on um, Thursday tomorrow. It's not being fitted Thursday, but we are one bit of wood down. So uh, I'm going to go back to Chausson, speak to Megan, and see if it's, see if we've got one in stock. And then I'm going to make an onion bargy, traditional French cuisine. So let's do that. So now that you're all fully aware of the origins of the slow mo. Different glasses, Q slow mo. One either.
myself. Not because of the barges. Yeah, they taste all right. Uh, I nearly gave them to the chickens because I wasn't happy with the first batch. But uh, police said uh, no. Um, yeah, yeah, she's gonna. Uh, yeah, she'll eat them. Anyway, I don't like this, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back to normal. Right back to normal. Right. The reason why I'm proud of myself is because I had a I had a conversation today um, in French to somebody uh, who was French and old. Um, but before I tell you about the conversation, I need to rewind back to explain why I'm proud. You may or may not have noticed, um, but I've got a stammer. I've got I've got a stutter. It's a slight one, uh, but I notice it. And I don't like it uh, and I've had it ever since I was about 15 or 16 so the first time I noticed it I was, I was working in a uh, supermarket Tesco's I was a trolley pusher uh, as the French would say uh, un chariot or un caddie um, and a lady collapsed on the floor but she had a uh, medical tag with a, a telephone number to phone and I phoned this number from customer services and uh, the, the words just wouldn't come out so I made a bad situation worse by stuttering and stammering all over the place to this woman. And it, and it stayed with me ever since. It gets worse when I'm anxious, which is unfortunate, having an anxiety disorder. And it gets worse when I've had a drink. <laughs> so I, I don't tend to uh, have telephone conversations with people after I've had a, after I've had a drink. So uh, anyone who's got a stammer or a stutter uh, will have certain words or noises um, you know, that they'll avoid starting a sentence with. For example, mine are anything that starts with a W and anything that starts with an M. There are others. So people with stammers come up with techniques and strategies to try and navigate around a sentence um, in order to avoid those, uh, those words that start with those letters. And uh, other techniques is a, a man are really, 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 really subtle is uh, I'll throw in a swear word, so subtle that you won't hear it. Now, it's the only time that I tend to edit these videos is when um, I've stammered quite bad. And that's the only time that I'll take it out and I'll retake it again. Right, so the reason why I'm mentioning all this, because it's not something that I've spoken about on the channel before, it's not really come up. So, today I needed farine de pois what was it sheesh <laughs> farine de pois sheesh chickpea flour couldn't find it anyway so um, normally I've got a script going on in my head and so uh, I, I approached the lady in Leclerc in, in Rufek and I said bonjour Pouvez-vous m'aider, s'il vous plaît? Now, I can say that to you guys uh, because I'm relaxed. I'm not anxious. Um, I'm a little bit talking about this, uh, but I'm not really anxious. But put me in a situation where I'm approaching a French lady um, and, and I'm asking her for help. And that May Day, it wouldn't come out. It wouldn't come out. And uh, that's quite embarrassing. I said it in the end. And uh, I then started with Je suis désolé, je ne, je ne parle qu'un petit peu français. Um, I pop, and she looked at me as though I was like a piece of shit. Honestly, I, I, I am good at picking up cues, good at picking up social cues. I'm, I'm really, really good at reading the room. And that's only because of my anxiety and hypervigilance and the, and the PTSD. And I, I just felt really, really embarrassed. But she did go on to help me. <laughs> You know, so don't get me wrong, right? Maybe she just had a, um, I don't know, just one of those uh, awkward faces. But, uh, but she helped me and we couldn't find it. Anyway, us immigrants that can't speak French, uh, but know a little bit, situational, we'll have like a script that we'll have in our head. Um, but when people talk to us out of the blue, <laughs> that's when it gets difficult. So I'm looking for an alternative to the farine de pois sheesh and uh, and I find it which is one that I showed you earlier but as in there looking on my Google Translate this little old lady Ella's another one 
um, she um, she started talking. Well, she, yeah, she was talking. I didn't realise she was talking to me. Um, and then I looked down, and she looked up, and I realised that she was talking to me. I'm absolute panic setting. Absolute panic. So, um, I'm listening out for the words, and uh, she's uh, what she's saying is, "Am I looking for flour for le crepe?" And I went, "No." Um, what did I say? Right, I'll try and remember exactly what I said, <laughs> and and I don't know whether. Yeah, yeah, sometimes us English, yeah, just go with a word and just try and pronounce it French, hoping that it translates well. So what I said, you know, say, pour les oignons, uh, bagi, on the end. And she seemed to understand that. And uh, and then I said, uh, um, je voudrais une farine, um, or le farine, um, pois. Keep forgetting it. <laughs> Sheesh. God, this is painful. Sorry. Um, and she went to ah, and then she, she basically told me that uh, I could go to Grand Fouet. and I said uh, I asked her uh, where that was, and she said uh, it was near, near to Angoulême, and I went ah, no, c'est c'est trop loin. Um, J'en ai besoin aujourd'hui. What I think I said was. It's too far. I need it today. But and that's why I'm proud because it was like almost. It was almost without effort, if if that makes sense, because the words are now getting there, uh, and the and the basic sentence formation. I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me that I've said it all wrong, but she understood and uh, and I said uh, merci pour votre aide, uh, bonjour et au revoir, and and she said and she said merci to me. I don't know why, um, but yeah. So that's why I'm proud today. But those onion barges are a faff. They're a faff. You've got to wash your hands every five minutes. Anyway, hope you all have a great Wednesday. See you Friday. Laters.